Hey man, we out here today with the truck. We're about to get into what's the Amazon DSP. I'm gonna break down everything you need to know about DSP, Amazon logistics, trucking, cargo, freight, supply chain, whatever you wanna know, we're about to get into it, let's go. So what is a DSP? A DSP, that's short for Delivery Service Provider, DSP. People think these trucks right here are Amazon employees, no. They're third party logistics companies that hire people out. And the reason Amazon does that is because they don't wanna take the risk. So they hire people like me and others to start a company, hire employees, and run the routes for them. So they kind of, we partner together and work with Amazon. But FedEx across the street does the same thing. You gotta go over there to see it. UPS don't really do it too much. The post office don't really do it. But Amazon and FedEx, DHL. LaserShip, DHL, yeah. companies like that, they outsource their work um, to take less risk. And they give more opportunities for people to start their own company and environment and things like so that. So you're saying like all the people I see delivering Amazon packages in my neighborhood, they aren't really Amazon employees, they're your employees. Yeah, they my employees or somebody else with a company. Um, right now, like this building, it's three different companies over here um so yeah but the other building i came from had eight people that was out there riding around eight different companies with 100 people under each company like that's what it is so how does this work you basically go to amazon and say i have a team ready with trucks and then they'll hire you or yeah yeah i made a video out here above check up the, below the video gonna be up or down somewhere i already made a video on exactly how to apply for amazon dsp amazon logistics is logistics.amazon.com check my video out i made the other way i'm gonna show you how to apply for it everything you need to know steps down there i also got the mentorship coming 30 minutes a hundred dollars an hour or $250. I'll tell you exactly what you need to put the application in and get going in this logistics game for sure. For real though, how much money do you need to start something like this? Because you got to come with the trucks, you got to come with the employees, you got to come with the payroll system in place. For sure. On the low end, you can get in for about $30,000. You, it, you can start it up with 30,000, but I like to come all the way right. So I would say you're gonna need about 75 to 100K to if you wanna do start with everything in place, like your payroll, your managers and all that type of stuff and stuff. So when you build it, you wanna start with the end in mind, but 30K will get it. 30K and some sweat equity, you will be able to start this up by yourself. It's all kind of people from different backgrounds. I just happened to work at Amazon, but it was people Tech people got a truck company, firemen, police officers got their own DSP, ex NFL players got their own DSP. It's all kind of stuff. Do Look at the geese, man. All these trucks right here, they're Amazon branded. So do you rent them from Amazon or do you own them outright? Do people need to buy the trucks outright? How does that work? Uh, with Amazon, they give them to you through the lease, but they pay the lease. It's a pass through lease, triple lease program, if you know what that means. Amazon has this company that we lease them from. We pay the lease and Amazon pays us to lease them because it's their vehicles. Uh, coming up in January, I think they even starting to pay for all the maintenance and the um, stuff that goes wrong with the truck. So they really helping us out. Wow. Um, so yeah. So Amazon really cares for you. Yeah, I mean, it's a franchise. Think of it as like a franchise. If you had a McDonald's or a Chick-fil-A, Taco, whatever the franchise is, this is a franchise with Amazon. So I'm partnering with them. I'm staffing, I'm hiring. I'm taking on all the risks for Amazon and, and delivering their packages and making it happen. So yeah, they provide us with the tools to get the job done and the systems and the software. So you were provided a little growth opportunity moving to a new place, which cut your employees a little bit. But at your height, how many employees did you have? At my height, I probably had 110, 120 employees easily. Is it, is it hard for you to manage all those people? No, nah, I got a great team. Shout out my team on the inside. No, nah, it's not hard. I got four or five dispatchers. Once you get your systems in place, like ADP and the payroll, you just got to have a system for entering them, doing a drug test, hiring. You got to be organized and disciplined. And the team, you got to make you SOP and follow the instructions to the T. You'll be just fine. Now, you do it a little differently. You have a team structure in place where it doesn't require you to be here all the time. But a person just starting out in DSP their first year, what can they expect? Are they going to have to be here every morning at 7 a.m. at their load time? And are they going to have to stay throughout the whole day? What's the hour requirements per week? I'm going to say, even when I first started, though, I put, I was working 10 hours a day, probably seven days a week easily. Probably 10, 12, wake up in the morning, come dispatch. But I really wanted to learn the business. When you first starting out, I would suggest you really get in there, dive deep and learn the business. Don't pass it off to let somebody manage it. You want to know exactly what's going on so you can be there and not make sure that when you do step away that your team's not getting over on you. So I would suggest that first year, five, six, seven days a week or whatever it takes to, to you grasp the concept of what's really going on, especially if you're not coming from the logistics industry or, or got that kind of background, you know? Like, would you recommend someone start as an Amazon driver for another company, kind of learn it before you go apply to be a DSP if you have no previous experience? I wouldn't 
say I wouldn't probably do that, but you should probably study it. I wouldn't say go there. I mean, if you want to see what it is, if you got time to see what it is like that, yeah, of course, get into it and drive for maybe a week or two. But no, you don't need that experience. You could get to learn really fast the game. It's not too complicated as you think. Just think of shipping, man. You got to get stuff from A to B. Like when you pick up your kids from school, that's logistics. How you planning to go pick your kids up at a certain time, drop them off at a certain time. What are some of the benefits of owning a DSP? Has it set you up pretty well? Yeah, owning a DSP, this allowed me to have freedom, man. Look, I'm out here flip-flops, chilling. Not, not, I get not to live. just anything. Hey, man, watch out. Yeah, it's afforded me to life. I travel a lot, spend time with my family, but on this new move, I dive back into it. So I'm back refreshed again with that move. I got new energy for the DSP now. I'm back full speed, but yeah, I could. I had it running where I would never had to come here. I didn't have to come back after I got it up. I say probably two and a half years in, I got to the point where I didn't even have to come. I just had teams, we communicate on Chime, different platforms, had a team running right. And yeah, it's pretty much freedom of time. I probably say I work maybe four hours a week on it, but now I'm back. I'm out here every day, seven days a week. So with the new move, probably put, I say probably 20, 30 hours a week now, doing it out here now, just getting it started up, making sure we start with a fresh thing so we can um, make it happen, you know? Shout out Amazon, man. You hear most people talking bad about big corporations, but Amazon gave me an opportunity and I ran with it. So you gotta look at it by taking opportunities. So Amazon took a chance on me, gave me the opportunity to start my own trucking company. And 40 trucks later, we here building, doing our thing. So yeah, appreciate that. But for more information, the real juicy detail, the mentorship coming, man, it's coming. A lot of people be in my DMs, hit me. I be giving y'all a free answer. Y'all keep asking them questions, it's gonna start costing you. Pretty much my DM, I ain't even gonna be answering them no more. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to join the People First community. Get You can get me on the People First community if you send me an instant message. I'm there, I'm gonna be there. But all that DMs and all that, that's coming to an end. You're gonna have to pay for this sauce. <laughs>